We're back. We're back, and uh, um, we're just going to discuss our uh, Excel uh, model this time. So um, what we have here is is just a, a quick drawing of um, our state diagram of how we wanted everything to 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 go. So you can see up here everything starts as a seed, and then. Um, 90% of them germinate to become a baby, and the rest of them aren't accounted for. We just assume that they die. Um, and then uh, point eight, this point eight nine is 8 ninths, so every tick, 89% or 8 ninths of the um, babies become babies again. And then uh, the, the other 1 ninth uh, becomes mature. And this was to account for the weeks, because we ass we're assuming that it takes 9 weeks for a baby to become a mature adult that can bloom. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's that's essentially why we chose those, those yep. numbers. And then once once uh, a flower is mature, um, each flower um, from, from our research produces 150 um, seeds, so which is quite a bit. Um, so that's what that 150 is. And then once they do that, um, we want 90% of them to, to not be able to to produce seeds 150 seeds again so we put them back in the baby stage so that they can't produce uh, again for another about nine ish yeah. um, uh, steps yeah. um, and then for the for the the remaining point one that's just um, that's just going to be dead flowers that's what we're assuming so this is our implementation on uh, Excel so basically off at the top here we have um, all of the um, we have our capacity, and this was decided um, from our net logo project. Yeah. We wanted to kind of get it uh, close to what the net logo. Was. Yeah, and it was also decided on our net logo project that um, me and Trevor had on our max. We had our net logo have a um, right. a, the, the, a bigger bigger radius yes. um, for seeds. So this number is actually going to be smaller, I think, than than the. Um, that logo model Casey has, but right. regardless, this is our plot of land, and this is how how many dandelions can essentially live on itself. And and we uh, we think of dandelions as babies and adults, um, so so we add them together to see how how many um, you know, mm -hmm. how many dandelions total there are, um, and then the. Uh, this is the germination rate, which we um, seeds germinate into uh, infants, mm -hmm. um, and then this is the number of infants that become infants again uh, to model the uh, growth of an infant yeah. to an adult. Also called stay baby. <laughs> <laughs> and then the point one one is the ones that become adults. Yeah. And then obviously the point nine is the survival rate which is actually now our rate of which adults become infants again and this was we did consider the idea of having a dormant state because they aren't really you know babies again but right. essentially it's sort of the same idea as a baby so we would have been pretty much mimicking that yeah so that's why we just put them back into the baby section and yeah point nine is that rate and then obviously the 150 for the seed for the seed count yeah baby making baby making um <laughs> and then the, you can disregard the uh the k and point one yeah, we were playing we around were with playing some around. stuff and yeah. uh yeah yeah so we got carrying past eight determinants that that was what we wrote originally so i you can probably disregard that yep. too um yeah so we started off with nine babies and we just you know zero adults because they will become adults yeah and as you can see they do um so we can just go over some of our equations here we for seeds um as our state diagram sort of shows um, we we have an inflow of seeds is going to be the previous amount of adults times the amount of seeds that they produce right. and that's obvious you know right here you can see one times 150 we get 150 seeds and so on and so forth um so then then our next equation here 
<laughs> is oh, yeah, let's go over adult first because this one's a doozy okay yeah, this one is the most important the one that we found the most important because uh, babies can become adults and adults come back to babies so babies is sort of the main yeah, area the main thing. adult essentially just means it's ready to flower and go back to a seed and baby is actually sort of deceiving them I guess mm -hmm. yeah that we think it's, about it. it's just the flowers it's, that aren't yeah that aren't able to be seen yeah so we come to adults, and Casey, you should explain this one because this one you discovered. Um, figured out. We tried all, all that adult. So, so, so once the adults uh, have babies, they go. They they're they're not adults again. Essentially, is what has how um, we're going between the different stages. So, um, the 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 number of adults now doesn't depend on the previous amount of adults at all. It actually is just the. Um, uh, eleven percent that were um, babies in this case um, to go to go to this stage. Mm -hmm. So all we're doing here is um, is uh, say saying the previous baby amount um, times yeah to, uh, time times that eleven percent to become the adults. So that's all that is. So uh, eleven percent of of nine is one or one ninth. So that's why that's that. A doozy here. Yeah, and then this this part we basically have a giant if statement. Yeah, and um, this this was because of this capacity here. We tried doing a logistic model mixed with this state model, mm -hmm. and uh, it was it was pretty tough to try and implement a a logistic rate cap deal. Um, so we just use this if statement. Yeah. So so we first we first check if. Um, if the amount of babies that's going to be coming up, and we'll go over that in a sec, uh, is going to be greater than the capacity, which is 400, um, then um, we take a, um, a normal distribution um, with a mean at the capacity and a standard deviation of 10. Yeah, and that was just to kind of keep it interesting. Instead of having it go to 400 and then just be 400, now you can sort of see its reach its capacity is going to go up and down a little bit and yeah so it's not just so boring yep. and then and then if it's not going to be greater than that capacity mm -hmm. then we just make it this long thing um, which is the same as as the beginning yep which is the same as this, as this beginning one yeah so this is yeah you went over that so, no okay. so to to explain this this is how many would um become the next uh, thing Dis disregarding uh, yeah. the, the cap um, so all that is is um, the number that were babies uh, which is this b9 Wait, that's uh, seeds. Oh, right right yeah. the number of babies before um, that germinated which is 90% of them or the germination seeds that germinated. goodness <laughs> yes um, <laughs> sorry co and then um, then we add those um, babies along with uh, the survival rate of the adults from the past. So remember that was 0.9. So once they have had had their babies, they they or their their seeds, they they 90% uh, of them come back as as babies. So that's what that is. And then the last one is um, the amount that are that are staying um, a baby rather than becoming an adult. Which is just previous amount times the amount that stay, which is the point even. Yep. So. And then you can see you can see the chart here, um, and the whoa whoa um, <laughs> series one is going to be um, the seeds here, and uh, there's a lot of seeds, but not all of them are being made into babies, just like our net logo. Um, yeah they die off yeah. um, and then this one is probably the one you want to look at is the um, is the number of babies uh, and that that should fluctuate right around 400 because that's our capacity yeah and and then at the same time if we wanted to have the total count of dandelions adults and babies are the total yep. um, but the very bottom one here is just the uh, the adults and those are the ones that have have bloomed and are yep. ready to fly their seeds around so yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, thanks for listening. <laughs> <laughs>